I'm going to show you how to use Excel to calculate correlations between variables. I'm using Excel 2016, but with the exception of the function pane, which replaces the function dialog box, everything is the same for other versions of Excel. You can download this spreadsheet I'm using and follow along by clicking on the link in the video. Correlation is a statistic that gives an indication of how strongly two variables are related. The result of calculating correlation is a number between negative 1 and 1. Numbers closer to either extreme indicate a stronger relationship, while a number closer to 0 indicates a weak or even no relationship. This kind of correlation is also known as Pearson's correlation or the Pearson product moment correlation. Correlation can be classified uh, three different ways. There can be a positive relationship, and uh, this means as one variable increases, uh, the other has a tendency to increase. Uh, there would be a negative relationship where as one variable increases, the other has a tendency to decrease. All right, and there may be no relationship at all, so uh, movement in one variable uh, couldn't be used to predict movement in the other. The correlation statistic is fairly tedious to calculate by hand, even with a calculator, but luckily, Excel has a couple of ways to help us with this. I'm going to show you how to use the Corel function. To get started, I'm going to click the FX button up next to the formula bar. And in the formula pane, I'm going to start typing correlation. All right, once Corel pops up, I'm going to double click to select it. And uh, the uh, the formula pane here, uh, if you're using another version of Excel, it'll show the, uh, the formula wizard, okay? Uh, for array one, I'm gonna select the data in column A labeled X. And for array two, I'm gonna select the data in column B labeled none. With that done, we can just click Done to finish the calculation. And we can see that these two variables all right, have a correlation of very close to 0, 0 0.01. And so we can safely conclude that as the label predicted in column B, there is no correlation between the two variables. Okay, I'm going to repeat the, po the uh, process in, in G4. Okay, so the formula pane should still be open. I'm just going to double click on Corel. I'll select the data in column A again. And uh, for array two, I'll select the data in column C. Okay, when that's done, I can either uh, click enter or click done. All right, the result is a correlation of pretty close to 0.9. All right, this number uh, tells us that there is a very strong relationship between the variable in column A and the variable in column C. Okay, so just for completeness, I'm going to do it one more time in G5 so we can see a, a negative relationship. All right, and instead of using the formula pane, I'm going to go ahead and just type the function in. All right, generally this is a little bit more efficient if you already know the syntax. Okay, and now we're getting a negative number and a negative 0.7743 is not quite as strong as as the uh, the nearly 0.9 we got for the positive relationship okay but it is still a, a, a pretty strong relationship and it's in the negative direction so we would say that uh, the variable in column a and column d have a strong negative relationship okay so it's important to note that the existence of a relationship does not mean that one uh, variable is causing the change in another. 
In other words, uh, correlation is not causation. Changes in X may be causing changes in Y, or changes in Y may be causing changes in our X, or some other factor may be causing them both to change. Whatever the case may be, a causal relationship is very difficult to prove. So I hope that helps with correlation.